Hi, good morning. Welcome back. I'm still a bit shattered. <laughs> Just finished my last night shift. Um, haven't we? Yeah, and you're just ready for a wee, so we're just having me coffee. And uh, yeah, start on our travels again today. So, just on me three nights, so we're on Thursday, well, dinner time, just quarter to one, haven't we? Had a bit of a crap week, haven't we? Yeah, if some of you know a bike I ordered, I went a bit mad and got this real fancy. Um, e-bike on order it's supposed to be coming this month and they've now said sorry five months it'll be next year no, I'm not waiting really really gutted um, I was looking forward to that. I built myself up because I want to get fit I want to get back on the road uh, I needed that e-bike you know motor to help motivate me because it's the hills what don't motivate me um i've done a lot of sort of other you know mountain bikes the last one was sort of fatties i got into the fatties now i live in lincolnshire so brilliant but um yeah i just wanted something to help me up them hills to make you know psychologically get me out there and i wanted you know i had it planned every day i'd be out even if it's just for half an hour, do a circuit of the, you know, just the industrial state. So yeah, that was one. And then the second one is my tyres. Just a nightmare. I just cannot get tyres for this truck. It's getting silly now. Um, getting a little bit worried actually. Because, I mean, I still think I should get under the radar fine. Um, so, if it does get a pass quick, I'll quickly go in and get it MOT'd anyway to give me another year. But I'd already, I've already got the funds all sorted. Um, it was going to cost me about 1500 quid for a, a, a set of five from Germany. And there was, what were they? There was brand new stock, but they were sort of about 2004. 15. He was going to see if he can try and get me some better ones. 2017 dot. So still, you know, under the 10 year rule, I'd still have uh, sort of four or five years left on them. Uh, but it's only the front two steering axles. So I thought we'll go for that. That's a cheap, a lot cheaper option. And he can't get any. He went to the sale, the yards where they get them all from in Germany or the ex-military. No, in my he says the first time first time they normally pick up at least 50 it says none absolutely none and he's he's been round he's ring round for the last month um yeah none he's only got a couple of odd pairs now left and um, which is no good i need a full set of the same tire um because on four befores you, you, you've sort of got to have all the sort of generally the same you can't have different brands and stuff it ruins up the um, sort of the transfer boxes and stuff so I've been told so that's another blow so I'm stuck I mean you know it's sort of a thousand pound plus each again <sighs> which I'd have the funds for that so yeah bit of a shitty old week and then I bought a load of parts for the truck um, I was going to start giving it a service because I've got a bit of a flat spot um, getting up hills again it's just gone real sluggish I think it, to me it's like fuel filters got blocked so I thought right no more garages let's get cracking on um, ask my mate tips any little tips yeah do this do that bleed that I thought brilliant yeah got her out yesterday could I remove it no so got to pop into a garage now <laughs> which I didn't want to do but I'm going to tell him can you you know, just give me the tools. I need some sort of like a wrench thing to undo it. Um, you know, so I'm trying. I'm just trying to learn the, the engine. So I'm going to get a load more piles of spares. Have a word with them today because I want to trans. I want to fix all the well everything. Give it like a massive service over winter. All the oils drop every oil out of it. Replace everything with new, so we know we, everything's done. Because um, on this, it'll last forever. Except for like engine oil, but 
the mileage I do is it should yeah, that should be a while. So yeah, another big blow because I thought I'd all organised and set up, everything was ready. Yeah, yeah. we get weeks like this, don't we, rocks? So yeah, this week we're going to. Um, you'll see a lot of other YouTubers have done it to Willow Fields um, out near Newark. Um, Hacks, Hacksley, is this one about? I can't remember now. My brain's still fried from work. Oh, still waking up, aren't we? So, yeah, they've got a festival on this weekend Festival of Light. So, take it. I've got Mini Me with me. He's got to pick him up Friday. Um, so yeah, we've ordered loads of lights. We've got to go and pick them up today or tomorrow for my mum's um, to put on the truck. So, is it too early to put a Christmas tree up? <laughs> well, I've got all my Christmassy lights. Um, I've got a little spot there. <laughs> Just asking for a friend. I love Christmas. My birthday, Christmas day, so it's always sort of a... I, I love it and I love the chintzy the better so it's gaudy and lights everywhere like a little grotto I love it and then I get depressed after I take it all down it's all plain and boring <laughs> so yeah go and pick all them lights up um, and hopefully today there's an overlander parked at one of my spots on the coast um, just eight miles away my sister went there last night and she went oh do you know who this is um, apparently from Austria so fingers crossed they don't know if they're leaving today she asked them they're not sure if they're moving on going up north so hopefully they're still there and I'll uh, try and get a bit of interview with them so yeah I'm not sure what's going on after that it's we will see be heading off Friday but yeah just going to go around some bike shops now. I don't know whether just to look for a, a cheap little bike now. Um, so if anyone's got one for sale, I want something like a large or extra large frame. Must have for at least front suspension. Um, something sort of fairly lightweight in the 500 quid bracket just to chuck on the, on the I'll chuck it on the roof. I'm not going to get spend a fortune on bike racks for the back yet. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna plan just replan it until next year. I'm just gonna pop down to local bike shop because I forgot we have got one local. Um, I'm just gonna have a look at one they've got. I don't know if they've got any stock of it, but just get me an idea. I might change even bikes if I can get another cheaper e bike. We will see. I'll let you know later. Um, just gotta go. Have this, walk the dog, pop to the garage just to get my fuel filter off, and then we go weebies, <gasps> get walkies, help me. Whoa, <laughs> right, guys, catch you later. So, we're back at East Coast Commercials, got my mate looking at the truck. Yeah, we need to get a new fuel tank. Um, rust through the system everything's blocked um, so look he's gonna see if he can try and find me a plastic tank we're gonna fit a bigger plastic tank on there but yeah I'll spin you around that's the color of my filter <laughs> it was just absolutely thick sediment sediment is absolutely full again so we only did that not long ago so, yeah, time for a great big fresh fuel overload, Over overload, <laughs> refresh it all, we're gonna, so we need to replace this tank, so if anyone knows of a cheap one, plastic one, we're gonna go plastic, I've got loads of room so I can go bigger as well, um, senders on the back of it, on mine, so, yeah, we will have an update later when I get driving, but I think that was the problem. So it was blocked. So that's only in a matter of, what, five months? 
So, yeah, time for a clean up.